Hi right, guys, today I'm going to make a boat hook out of some 4-inch PVC. And uh, you can use this for all things, like not just on a boat, but uh, big storage for cords and whatnot in your garage as well. It's cheap, it's easy, let's give it a shot. Cutting big PVC like this is quick and makes for nice straight cuts, but it's also very dangerous. You can do it a lot more safely using a regular handsaw made for wood or a hacksaw. I cut it a little big because I'm going to sand the edges. Eye protection with rotary tools, highly recommended. Shoes, optional. <laughs> Next I'm going to decide where the bend is going to start. I think right around here is where I want the bend to be. Very good. This particular vice thingy is really neat. If you ever get one, I doubt you'll be disappointed. But you can use a table type vice just the same. So now I'm going to heat this area up. In the past, I've you've seen me melt PVC a lot with a propane torch, which works just fine. Uh, it does tend to blacken the material a lot when it burns so today i'm going to use a heat gun which is a lot neater and probably safer this part takes a while so i'll spare you and i'll come back when this is soft and ready to manipulate In order to get it straight, what I'm going to do is put a piece of wood behind it like that and clamp it. Now I'm going to let that cool for a little bit and we'll come right back. All right. That's looking pretty good, but this part right here. I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. All right, it's been a little while. This should be cool. Are you cool? <laughs> yep, that looks pretty cool to me. PVC is uh, pretty strong, rot resistant, and um, yeah, this should hold up for a long time. Now I'm just going to make it a little pretty by rounding the edges up here and uh, getting rid of some of that gook on the front, making the edges a little more slippery so that a line will go onto it easier. And I'll say this, uh, rotary tool is uh, probably one of my favorite tools. A cordless drill maybe might trump this, but I use this almost every day with either a metal cutoff wheel or this sanding disc, which is also supposed to be for metal, but it's great for PVC and wood. And oh my God, you get these in the section where they sell these dealies in the big box stores. I'm not sure what grid it is, like 60 maybe, but it chews through all types of stuff. And like I said, I use it all the time. Now just finish this off with a little sandpaper. I think that about wraps this piece up. I'll drill a couple of holes for a place to mount it. I think this is about ready for service. Let's put it on the boat. Nice. Hang that one there. Now I've got a home for the 
lines. You're not allowed to call them rope because they're now on a boat. I think I'm going to wind up making a few more of these to put up front. So I've got my bow lines. These will be my stern lines. They'll always be in a place where I know where I can find them. And if you guys want to find me, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be taking this big boat on the Great Loop, which is 6,000 miles up the intracoastal on the eastern part of the United States. And it'll take a couple of years probably before I'm done. And along the way, I'll probably have other innovations and little hacks that I'd be happy to share with you. So if you enjoyed it, give it a like, and uh, I'll see you next time. Catch you later.